I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our Free Math Solutions WhatsApp group for participating so actively. You have been posting brilliant questions and the support from the other members in providing solutions is amazing. Here is a question from one of our participants. And this question has actually been answered in different ways, right? So, so we already have two methods of solving this particular question, right? There are some suggestions also, and the, the group is so interactive that they have really taken their time to provide brilliant solutions, right? So we already have two solutions to this question. However, I would like to uh, once again provide a solution which you may say the third type of solution, correct? So any question can be seen in many different ways and it's a learning experience. So let us see in the given situation how else we can solve this particular question. Points A, 0, 2 and B, 4, minus 2 lie on the circumference of a given circle. Points C, minus 3, minus 3 and D, 7, 2 lie outside the circle but the center of the circle lies on CD. Find coordinates of the center of the circle, radius of the circle, and equation of the circle. Right. So the concept which I am going to use is something like this: that uh, if you have a chord, then the right bisector of the chord always will pass through the center. Right. So let's say we have a chord. In that case, the right bisector, which is kind of like this, right will always go through the center. So that is one concept. So we'll take these two points as, uh, well, this is not really to the scale, right? So, uh, but anyway, we'll just take this point as A and B, right? So this is point A and that is point B for us. Point A is 0, 2. And point B is 4, minus 2. Now we are also saying that the center lies on joining these two points C and D, right? So what I'll do here is that I'll just uh, draw a line here which goes through the center and we'll assume these two points are C and D, right? So let's say this is C for us and that is D for us. So in that case, coordinates of C will be minus 3, minus 3 and coordinates for D will be 7, 2, as given in the question. And that becomes the center of our circle. Right? So, so that becomes the center of our circle. So let's write H and K, which is a convention normally, to write the points of the center S. So the first step here, is to find equation of the right bisector of AB and equation of CD. And then we'll find the point of intersection which will provide us the center. Right? So let's do this. So as far as AB right bisector, so let's go with right bisector of AB first. So in that case, we'll begin with slope of AB, which is what? Y2 minus Y1. So so we'll have this minus 2, minus 2, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So that gives you minus 4 over 4, which is minus 1. Now, this perpendicular, let's say, let's call this as, we'll also find this midpoint M, and let's say center is O for us, correct? So, so the slope of the perpendicular will be negative reciprocal, will be 1, right? So that is for the right bisector. And it goes through the midpoint M. So let's also find what is the midpoint. Midpoint, average of the two. So the x values, 0 plus 4 divided by 2. The y values, 2 minus 2 divided by 2, right? So, so the midpoint here is, uh, let's call this as M. The coordinates of that point are 4 divided by 2 is 2, and that is 0. So that becomes the midpoint M. And since we know the 
the slope right and this midpoint we can now write down the equation so the equation will be in the form of y equals to m is 1 that is x plus b to get the value of b we'll use point 2 and 0 so if i write 2 here for x and 0 for y so we get 0 equals to 2 plus b and uh, that gives you the value of b as minus 2 and therefore the equation of this line is y equals to x minus 2 so that becomes the right bisector of ab right so is that clear to you so we got this line which is y equals to x minus 2 okay now second part of this is to find the equation of line cd okay so the slope of cd is y2 minus y1 2 minus minus 3 becomes 5 divided by 7 minus minus 3 means plus 3 so it is uh, so 5 over sorry i should have written 2 2 minus minus 3 so 2 plus 3 right so which is 5 over 10 and that is half correct so 2 minus minus 3 is 5 and 7 minus minus 3 is 10 so we get half as the slope so we can write this as y equals to half of x plus b substitute one of these points let's do minus 3 minus 3 right so so minus 3 over 2 plus b so taking it to this side we get minus 3 plus 3 over 2 is equal to b and that is clearly minus 3 over 2 minus 6 minus 3 is minus 3 over 2 is the value of b and so we get this equation as y equals to half of x minus 3 by 2 got it we can just multiply by 2 and then write this as 2y equals to x minus 3 well this is not standard or any form but it is good enough to get the point of intersection right so we'll call this as our equation number one and this as our equation number two correct and we can actually find the value of x and y using this equation so let's do that part so i'm kind of saving some space here so we'll now find the center row that is point of intersection right so which is the center for us is it okay so first part is to find the center itself which is hk this is a point of intersection of these two lines as explained earlier so to find this what we will do is we'll just do equation 2 take away equation 1 so when you subtract from this this particular equation you get y equals to x and x cancel minus 3 minus minus 2 means minus 1 right so we get y of minus 1 now let's say this is our equation 3 right if i substitute y equals to minus 1 we can find what x is correct so so bringing it here minus 1 plus 2 is x so x is equal to 1 right so so now we know that the point of intersection is basically 1 minus 1 that is our hk right so center so we have the center now so center here is 1 minus 1 is that clear to you so we found the center by using point of intersection of the right bisector and the line going through the center is that clear to you once you know the center then we can find the radius of the circle so let's do that part let's find radius now radius is distance from the center to any point on the circumference so so the radius r will be equal to since we know h and k these values 1 and minus 1 right so, so we'll do 2 or less is difference of 0 0 and 1 uh, minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus so that becomes plus 1 whole square right so we use the distance formula to find this particular radius and that is equal to 1 plus 9 
which is equal to square root of 10. So that becomes the radius. Perfect. <clears throat> now, once we have the radius, we can always find the equation of the circle, right? So the equation of the circle is using the point H and K, we have uh, X minus the H value, which is minus 1 whole square, plus y minus the y value which is minus 1 that makes it plus 1 whole square equals to radius square which is 10. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the equation of the circle. Is that clear to you? So the formulas which we have used here are uh, the distance formula which we use uh, is square root of uh, x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square square root y equation of the circle which we have used here is x minus h whole square plus y minus q h k normally right equals to r square correct so that's the other formula which we have used right there uh, we kind of knew here that h and k was as calculated one and minus one is it clear to you i hope you can now see the complete solution and I hope it helps you to understand the basic concept of attempting such a question. Let me once again thank all the members of this vibrant group to provide brilliant questions and excellent solutions. I'll also give a link to, for you to join and contribute in the best possible way. Thanks for your time and all the best.